Hello. This is Raul. Thank you guys some more. NBA 2K19, my career. Hey, we're playing against the uh, New Orleans Pelicans. And the one and only of my Dallas Mavericks. Today, oh god, this is a good team. The, the thing is about New Orleans Pelicans is that not only they're good, but they're probably one of the most interesting teams here in the NBA. I say that because of the simple fact that um, the NBA has, like the Pelicans are a good team, but they're just interesting. Like, they were formed out of the Charlotte Bobcats, and they were considered an expansion team. Um, like, since the Charlotte Bobcat, uh, Hornets, like, moved to New Orleans, like, excuse me, and they formed in New Orleans, so New Orleans Hornets, they were definitely called the New Orleans Hornets, and, um, by the, what, what was it when, um, 2013 season, they were called the New Orleans Pelicans, and, and a new logo, you know, everything, it was actually pretty nice, and their color scheme was pretty good, so, it's not hot, it's not easy, but a, do it takes, and I'm going up against Anthony Davis, which I do not like because he's not a center, which is not correct. So, yeah, New Orleans Pelicans, if you want to know about them, they were once uh, called the New Orleans Hornets. For some reason, they were called like from two. It's quite understandable for the 2005 to 2007 season, they were called the New Orleans slash Oklahoma City Hornets because they split their game. Well, they temporarily relocated to Oklahoma, and that makes sense. So, like... Because, like, they split their home, like, their games between Horn Center and Oklahoma City, which makes sense. And, um, uh, some remained in New Orleans Arena. So, that's actually interesting. The thing is, is that Chris Paul was part of the New Orleans Horn, uh, Hornets. Then... Chris Paul was wanting to get traded, and he evidently got traded to the Clippers. That did not make sense, because in 2012, the New Orleans Hornets would drop Anthony Davis, which they could have had two guys. If they... Acquired DeMarcus Cousins on February 20th, 2017. They could have had a big three with Chris Paul, Anthony Davis, and DeMarcus Cousins. So, yeah. Okay, so we're the Central Division real quick. Um, the Central Division still exists at the Eastern Conference. It's just that it was disbanded after the 1950-51 NBA season because since the NBA had three divisions in 
19th during the 1950 NBA season. Since there were 17 teams, there were three divisions. The Minneapolis Lakers won, and they eventually won the NBA Finals. However, six teams like this man had the next season and one actually folded during the season so that left 11 teams some of the division was gone it was not worked until like a very long time so yeah the old midwest division like consisted of like like five NBA championships, which also included the last Dallas Mavericks, San Antonio Spurs, Houston Rockets. They're still in the same division they are in today, essentially. But the thing about them is, is that the Midwest division also consisted of Minnesota Timberwolves which geographically did not make sense at the time. So, the Minnesota Timberwolves were effectively out, like, kicked out of the division. And so, yeah, basically, that's what happened. And it's not hard, it's not easy, but, like, man, you need to know about your geography, like, not saying much, but it's just how it is, really. And... That's my take on that. Um, let's say like, um, the Dallas Mavericks. I gotta give respect to them. They're doing so well. Luka Doncic is playing out of his mind ever since his recovery from his injury. The Mavericks are like in contention for the division and the playoffs, which is actually pretty nice. The Pelicans, on the other hand, they gotta do work with Zion Williams. Brandon Brandon Ingram, um, and Ingram is gonna have to switch positions in order to continue his dominance. And that makes sense. To me. Uh, excuse me. That does make sense to me because Ingram is doing so well that if they switch him to another position. As seeing he's more comfortable into and Zion is put into his, then that makes sense. And it will make sense for like everyone to understand what I'm trying to get at. I mean it's not hard. It's not easy, but like man, it's it's clean and good. So it makes sense a lot. Like it makes sense that the fact that <coughs> like that's like essentially what I'm trying to say. That's my give it that's my take on that. Um yeah. The thing is, um I'm gonna tell you something like I'm really on a project with a friend. It's pretty all nice. Snapchat guys, if you're watching the watching this, I am gonna post I'm gonna like give y'all a link of all my Snapchat on like what I'm talking about. Y'all have been supportive. Y'all Snapchat guys about it. So, that's what I'm gonna put. And I can't wait for new, new YouTube videos because I'm actually pretty excited about my take on like new ad policies 2020. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not hard, it's not easy, but I have to grind and everything. September 5th. Okay, whatever September 5th comes around, like, it was my one year anniversary on that, 2019. Um, guys, whenever the second anniversary comes about, I'm going to put a, a post, like, a good video. Maybe a live cam, I don't know, but, man, yeah, guys, I love y'all, but, A, it comes a time where... I just have to real feel my feelings. I might talk to y'all, some of y'all, like, whenever, like, school starts. Again, I'm gonna post it on Instagram and Snapchat. Yeah, so, if you're following me, please do. And 
gonna talk to all bad guys. You're all included, so you better watch it. To give it take. I I do love y'all. Bad is the best thing I ever done. And that's thanks to a bunch of people who have helped me over the last couple of months. Especially certain people who changed like the way I thought of certain things. I just wanted to say thanks. Um it's kind of odd that I'm saying thanks like at this moment. Uh, I should have said it during Thanksgiving, but you know what? Who cares? I want to give my interpretation of the thing. <sighs> Excuse me. We won the game. That's pretty nice. We defeated the Pelicans, and that's pretty cool. The one thing I'm gonna say about well, y'all, as you see, we're in a game of the Dallas Mavericks. Um, the one thing I'm gonna say is that y'all are the best. You all are the best. Let me put it that way. And there's never a time that, like, we're so down. You can talk to people, and you can especially talk to me. I'm very nice, and sometimes a little rude. I'm gonna admit that I'm a little rude, but that rudeness is really minimal. And I'm not gonna talk about why I'm like that. So if you wanna talk to me, talk to me. And when I run down, I talk to people. <laughs> to be honest, it's such a blast when I talk to y'all. Especially BAM people. I get, okay, you're gonna tell me like BAM people are like, are like a cult or something? Put it this way, it's a cult, I understand. But listen, we are like the best people that you can ever have as a friend. I understand, like, I'm like, kind of like, um, like calling out, like, dish, like, dissing, like, other fine arts groups, but. We're all good. Like, we're friendly. You don't have to say anything rude about us. I'm putting it that way. The thing is about, like, what I've been doing with my friends. <sighs> Excuse me. Like, like, what I've been doing with my friends is pretty, like, fun. It's with a friend named Brady Ferreira. I am pretty um, happy, like, that the fact that I'm doing this with him, I just want to say thanks to him. I'm also, like, like I said, I'm going to talk about it on my Snapchat, but I'm not going to not gonna talk about it on my Instagram because I know it's going to blow up and everybody's going to ask me questions. So, guys, if you follow me on Snapchat, I'm going to, uh, have the video up, like, this video up, so, like, link it and everything. Also, if, you, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, like the video, call, call the question of the day. If you have to be on what NBA team, what would it be? For me, it would be the Boston Celtics, but if you wanted to give relevancy, it would be the Detroit Pistons. Yeah. The Detroit Pistons, and as you can see, I'm a team takeover. Wahaha! -ha. Yeah. I'm a freaking team takeover. If you have anything to say, I recommend saying that right now in my face. And look at that beautiful fadeaway by Blake Griffin. And look at me getting steals. To be honest, I wish I could actually get steals, but the problem is, is that I get fouls. Yeah, region fouls. One time, I'm actually, I actually gotta say this, one time during a game, this was actually in a recording, I think I posted, I got a flagrant foul. I realized, like, I did not know you could get flagrants in this game. 
The only other time, if you did not know, it was back in my NHL 19 Be a Pro series, that I got a game misconduct after, like, it was an interference call. I got into a fight. I obviously won the fight, but I got a game misconduct. So, an interference call and a game misconduct. And I'm like, okay, I know I messed up. So, yeah, I, I actually... To be honest, I did pretty well. Uh, this was when I was on the Toronto Maple Leafs, so this was not when I was in the Providence Bruins or the Boston Bruins. And to be honest, in the end, I do like the Boston Bruins. They are the best team currently in the Atlantic Division, but they're not the best team overall. Uh, I don't, I don't know what was that. We are 71 to 57, which is actually a pretty cool lead. The thing is, right now, is that all I care um, is y'all, personally. I'm not going to go into why, but like I said, if you know me, you know why. And that's probably because, like, I've never felt so much love from y'all, like, y'all friends. It was just, it was just the best thing I could ever ask. Like friends, they're so useful, especially if you want to get a girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. Let me put it out there. So there is one thing I want to ask. Do you want face cam? I'm willing to post my face anytime. You no, know I ask like. I want a legit comment. Like, do you want to see my face like an IRL video? Because so I'm planning with a guy to make a Q&A with Lucas Edgar. Shout out to you, buddy. Um, there is many things that I um want to do. It's just that I never really bothered to like come and tell you guys because I'm like, oh no, this is actually going to be relevant. Uh, I really, really thank y'all. Like, I can't say more enough, honestly, because the way I have been doing YouTube, the way I've been grinding out YouTube videos, the way I have been learning to love you guys, it's pretty insane that the fact that I have been giving my all to you guys is so much. Like, I feel love from you guys, like friends. Because that's what y'all are, friends. So, like... Makes sense because that's what friends are, right? <laughs> that sounds so cheese, so weird, but it's true. I effectively wanted to be with you guys. Um, I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart, honestly, that. If I could, like, do anything for y'all, it would be to be with you. Specifically one person. Which I am not gonna say a person's name. But, um, because I don't want the person to get called out and everything. I love y'all, but... I know it's not hard, I know it's not easy, but the thing is, is that the fact that I um, want to be with you, specifically that one person, I'm not saying who, I, um, it's just not hard, like, I don't know how to explain it more, but, um, I'm, I have much, much more to ask. I have much more, much more to love, so much more to, like, understand. 
I have so much more to, like, learn from you guys. And the amount of, like, how much, like, understanding that I get from y'all, how much, like, under, like, like, so much interesting, those interesting things that I get from y'all, it's so much that I feel like, you know what, I feel love from y'all, and it's crazy. I know it's weird, but to be honest, it's true. It's honestly true, and I've never felt that in a long time. Actually, that's not true. I felt that, especially from my sisters. Yes, I I do feel it. Um, I just want to say that we're currently winning the Mavericks game. I've never, like, I don't rarely talk about the game. Just want to talk about you guys. Talk about what's going on. Update on you guys, and that's all I do. That's why I do post commentaries normally. There's so much fun than in game commentaries. Like, I'm gonna try and do face cam and stuff like that, but other than that, probably not gonna do much. So, if you're waiting for commentaries and stuff like that, please be patient. I, high school student, so, yeah, that's the take on that. Um, guys, we are gonna be winning MVP. We are going to be winning the Rookie of the Year. I do not know about Defensive Player of the Year, but... A. We got two victories under our belt. And I ought to say for myself, we are dominant. We are the bad boy... Bad boy... Boy... Boy Pistons. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We all are all just my book. And as for me, might as well see you all in the next one. Peace. Love y'all. Bye. I so love y'all.